Hey guys, I just filmed another video for you how I do this makeup look but then I thought about something that I want to talk about just quickly and that is self-confidence and I know I've been talking about it in a few other videos but that's a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, can't remember. It's a question I get all the time from you. I think I briefly talked about it a couple of videos ago with your assumptions about me. One of the assumptions was that I my confidence is really good and I believe it is but that doesn't mean it's all the time. I just want to point that out. I'm not always really happy about myself and feel like I, I can do anything but I, I believe it's pretty good compared to many 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 people especially girls my age or younger or older people, age doesn't really have anything to say with confidence. I know a lot of people say that you're gonna grow into it, you're gonna be more confident with the years and that may be true if you have been through a lot and you need to build up a confidence to um, to kind of survive <laughs> to, because you've been through so much but that's not necessarily gonna happen for everyone. It is an active choice, you can work on it yourself and you can be confident at the age of 10 or 15, 20, 30, 80. So don't go around and wait to be confident. You're confident. You're not gonna wake up one day and feel like, oh, today I actually feel really good about myself. Today life is actually really meaningful and beautiful and amazing. I, I get so, sorry about shaking at the table. I get so sad and frustrated when it seems like people are just waiting for it to happen. Happiness is, isn't just gonna come suddenly and same with confidence. You actually need to put in the effort for it to happen. You need to work on yourself and it should be <coughs> pretty obvious but what's not obvious it is what you should do. What can you do to feel better about yourself? I'm gonna link down below the other videos that I've made because I believe there's a lot to cover. It's not just one. Um, oh, that's beautiful. It's just a bird sitting on top of this. Um, and yeah, there's not this one solution to it. What I want to talk about today is the fact that a lot of girls, or guys also, I know that most of you are girls, so that's why I talk specifically to you. You depend on a guy's approval, you depend on a guy's love. If you're in a relationship, you kind of forget about yourself. I talked with one of my followers about this the other day because she felt that she didn't, she started feeling anxious, she, uh, her boyfriend tried to push her to meet uh, his friends and kind of have people over or initiated that they should go and hang out with other people but she uh, felt anxious about that and whenever she pushed herself to do that she just felt she was there quiet. I can relate to that because I was in this same type of situation when I was living in Brazil with my boyfriend at the time. I didn't have work there, I didn't have any hobbies, I I didn't have friends, I didn't have family, I didn't study anything. And he had his entire life there, family, friends, work, studying, everything. I lost myself, I lived his life and his friends barely spoke English and when I were to hang out with them I just slowly and slowly slowly lost myself. I lost my personality, my humor, my, my interest, my joy for life because I, well, it was nothing, it was nothing. So I started slowly when I lived there, started a blog to take photos and write a lot. I wrote so freaking much. I um, took this Portuguese class. I met this girl that also was with the Brazilian guy and she had moved there. And I started slowly. It didn't really help much at the time, but I didn't know that I was planting seeds. I was starting to build up my life again. Then I moved back to Norway for a little while just to see a shrink because I didn't feel happy at all and I started working, saving enough money, moved to LA and started my life there. So I'm sorry that I'm speaking, I just really want to share this with you. I know this, this video isn't funny, it isn't creative, it is, it, it's just me talking and that may be boring but I just had this uh, need to talk about it and I want to get it across there that you can never stop working on building up your life. I know a lot of people, they're building up this life for themselves, then they meet someone and then they think, oh, now I got what I wanted, so now I don't need to work on myself. You still need to work on yourself every single day, even if you reach your goals, even if you meet the dream partner, 
and move into your dream home, you still need to work to be happy and to be confident. And confidence comes from enjoying life, enjoying yourself and feel like you are excelling, is that a word? At something that you feel like you're mastering something, you feel like you there's a meaning to your life, you are actually doing something of service to the universe, to your friends, to your family, to your neighborhood, to yourself, to anyone and anything that you do something that has meaning and purpose. So I would encourage all of you to get any kind of hobby, get any kind of interest, any kind of find what you are passionate about, just anything. Even if you're in a relationship, especially if you're in a relationship, take time to be by yourself, to uh, hang with your friends, uh, still uh, work on relationships with other people just because you're in one relationship that you hopefully want to be with the rest of your life and want to build a family with that doesn't mean that all of your other relationships you're just gonna stop working on them if you want confidence you need to think about all of these things and not just think about them but actually go ahead and do something about it just quickly before i end i want to also i know i keep stressing this and i know i keep saying it in every single video and you're probably tired of hearing about it and that i'm getting very repetitive but that's um I need to remind you because I need to remind myself also by making these videos that write lists of things you're grateful for, things you like about yourself, your looks, your personality, your talents, skills. So focus on the positive and that's what's gonna expand and that's what you're gonna attract more of. Also be honest about your weaknesses and um, determine whether you can work on them or not, or not. If you can work on them, go and do something about it. If you can't, accept it and look at it as a strength. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's nothing wrong with don't knowing. People that think they know it all, <coughs> in my opinion, are the people that know the least. They haven't got it at all because you are never outlearned. You will never know it all. Isn't that the most awkward thing when someone tells you something and you're like, yeah, yeah, I know. And then later you are kind of forced to explain or kind of prove that you know that and you don't really know. It's just better to say right away off the bat, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I never heard about that song. I never seen that movie. I, uh, oh, I haven't really paid attention to the politics right now, what's happening. There's nothing wrong with that and get so frustrating, frustrating, frustrated when people say, really, you haven't heard about that? We can't expect everyone on this entire planet to know the exact same thing. How can you know about information that you haven't been told? That's my view on it. When people are like, really? You haven't heard about that? I'm like, no, because no one told me how would I, how would I go out and look for information I didn't know exists, you know? It doesn't make sense to me. I think that's a big key to getting confidence to admit that you're wrong, admit that you don't know everything. Be open to learning new things and actively go in to learn new things and build your life. And if you're single, that's how you're gonna attract someone into your life if you're interested in that. By being an interesting person, by having a lot going on, by having a lot of hobbies and to be confident in yourself, you need to build that before you meet someone. Don't expect that person to give you all your hobbies and your life and this exciting life. You need to have that already before you meet this person because that's what's gonna attract this person to you. Okay, now I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you want me to make more of these short videos where I just talk quickly about a subject that I have a lot of thoughts about and care about. And yeah, thank you for watching. I love you. Be kind. Bye.